Hi, I'm Amanda Perna at The Amanda Perna, and today I'm going to show you how to make a no-sew mask at home using Beacon Fabri-Tac Blue. The first thing that you're going to need are two rectangles of cotton. So I have a pattern for you on my website, amandaperna.com, but you also can just cut an eight by nine inch rectangle. The next thing you're gonna need is ribbon, or you could use shoelaces or some other kind of string that you can use to tie. You're going to need a measuring tape. I like to put a filter inside of it. You need something that is non-woven. If you don't have it at home, it's okay. It just adds an extra layer of protection. And then I like to put a little piece of metal. I've been using twist ties like you would use for bread, but you could also use a paper clip or some other bendable metal that you have at home. Even jewelry wire will work. I also like to use different clips. Um, I had a menagerie of them at home, so you could use a binder clip, you could use a clothespin, you could use a weight, whatever's gonna be easiest for you. And some kind of ironing device. I love this little tiny one, but you could use anything. And I do wanna call out my favorite glue to do this with is Beacon. It is the Fabri-Tac and it really does stick really well and you're able to work with it even when it's wet so you don't have to wait for it to dry in order to keep going. You're going to take your first piece of fabric and you're going to put it face down. Then you are going to take your inner facing and you're going to put it right on top of that. You're gonna take your glue and you're going to glue right along the edge of your fabric. So we're doing this so that way we can treat it as one and as we pleat and do all of the other steps, you're gonna have it nice and tight so it stays together. Then we're gonna go down the next edge. And you only need a little bit of this stuff, it really does stick nicely. And you're gonna do the bottom edge. And you're gonna do the next side. So then in order to create a nice clean finish that's easy to do, I like to put another row of glue all around the outside one more time so we can make a seat. With this one, I like to do it a little bit at a time and you're going to want to do it at about a quarter of an inch. So remember, your measuring tape or your ruler or whatever kind of measuring device that you're using will help you to measure out a quarter of an inch. It doesn't have to be exact. This is just so you have a nice clean finish around the edge of your mask. So we're gonna put that down. And if you think you need something to hold it in place as you go, so you don't have to do it with your fingers, you can put some weights or you can put clips or whatever is easiest for you, slash you have handy at home. next and it doesn't matter which order of the sides you do it just as long as you're making a seam on all four sides so stick another little weight on here and this glue does work pretty fast so you don't have to let it sit for that long thing I like about this glue too is it is clear so you don't have to worry about is it going to dry clear? It does. So push this down nicely. Now let's put a little clip here. One more here. And let's do another one for good measure. Okay so we are going to move this one over to the side. Push back down if you need to, just to make sure it's extra tight if any of the little parts are coming up. Don't worry, we're gonna glue it at the end again. So if it comes up a little bit, you just add a little bit more glue back. So we're gonna do the same thing here. You're gonna put your fabric face down once again, and we're going to put the glue around the edge. Okay, so the next thing you're going to want to do is you're going to cut your strings. I think you can do them 16 to 20 inches depending on how long you need it, but feel free if you have to measure it, you want to measure it from 
right around your, your cheekbone and then to the back. But I think around 16 to 20 inches is a good safe spot. And then you could trim it afterwards if you need to. So we're just gonna do ours at 18. So you need to cut four of these because you're going to have four ties. I like to do them with the ties. You could also do it with um, elastic if that's easier, but I think for the tie, it gives you a snugger fit on your head. Okay, so now you have four equal ties. So the next step is you are going to put glue in all four corners. And this is gonna be how you secure this to your head. And just a little tip, if you cut your ribbon at an angle, it frays less. Okay, so we have all four ties in. So you wanna give them a nice little push so they're snug in there. And now we're gonna go back around the edge again. And then this time we are going to secure both of our pieces together. So we're gonna go right in here. For this step, I like to do all four edges at the same time since we're gonna be placing this on here. So you're gonna take your other piece and you're gonna do it wrong sides together. And you're just gonna place it together nice and neat. You wanna push all four corners down. Before you fully close the top, you're going to put your nose piece in. So for this, you wanna add a little bit of extra glue just because it is kind of heavy. So you wanna make sure it sticks in there really nice and tight. So you're just gonna stick that right in the top of your mask. And this is what's gonna help it go nice and tight over your nose when you're wearing your mask. It's not mandatory, but I do prefer to have that in there so you have a little bit extra support. And now we're gonna let this dry for just a few minutes because we're gonna add heat. and You don't really want to put heat on the glue. So we're gonna let it sit for a few minutes and then we'll come back and we'll start pleating. Now that we've let this dry for a few minutes, we are ready to start pleating. You are gonna have three pleats and each pleat is going to measure an inch. So it's going to be when you fold it, you're going to have a half on each side from the fold point. You do want to try to fold these down just so that way you have a little extra support. So what we're going to do here is we are going to glue both the front side and the back side of your pleat so that way it's nice and stuck. And we're going to use one of our clips or a weight in order to keep it secure. I like to do one side, then the other, and keep going back and forth across my mask. So we're going to put one dab of glue, and we're going to go down half an inch. And then this is what I was talking about. So right in here, you're gonna to go to the back side and put a dab of glue here. If you are using my pattern, it's gonna make it easy because it marks out for you exactly where the pleats go, but I'm just gonna wing it because I've made a whole bunch of these at this point. Okay, so here, I'm gonna put something to secure it. This is gonna take a little extra time to dry just because you have all of this fabric that you are trying to secure. But this fabric tack does do a great job in keeping it glued down tight. Okay, so front side, and then once again, the back side. Okay. And let's put our next little clip. So you really wanna have a total of six clips if possible or six weights, um, but you could also use wider binder clips because that will actually hold two of them at one time. So then we're going to go, you're gonna measure another half an inch and you're going to do your next clip. And I like to lay it out and look at it and make sure they look even as I go. But once again, if you use the pattern, it makes it really simple. And then you're gonna wanna let this dry again for a little bit. And then once you have it dry, you are going to take it to your iron. You can use a regular iron, or I love to use this little tiny Cricut because it makes it really easy. And you're gonna gently press your pleats. And then I like to flip it over and press that side just so they're nice 
inside. And then once it's fully dry, you can take your clips off. And now you have your no-sew mask that you made at home using glue. Now that the mask is dry, this is how you're going to wear it. You're going to tie the ties around your ears in the back of your head. You can do a bow or a knot. I like a bow because I think it's cute. But you can tie an easy knot. And then you're gonna tie the other two behind your head. And then you're going to pinch your little nose pleat down and adjust this as needed. You wanna make sure it covers your nose and your mouth and fits as snug as possible. I'm Amanda Perna at The Amanda Perna. Thanks for watching and stay safe.